Let's have a look at the BIOS settings of the Hades Canyon NAC. So when you enter the visual BIOS, you are greeted with the home page, but let's click advanced to see all of the options. Main page, mainly informational. Devices tab gives you possibility to configure your USB, SATA, onboard devices such as Wi-Fi, Thunderbolt controller and other integrated devices. PCI for mainly switching off the M2 slots. And finally LED control here among other things. You could untick these two to disable the skull logo on the top of the unit if that's not to your liking. On the cooling tab we can configure the CPU fan behavior. We've got a few options over here. And then on the performance tab you can you can see there is a host of options for actually overclocking the unit. Nothing too extensive, but at least better than the better than the other NUCs. Alright, let's go to the graphics tab. Nothing much here. Memory, you can set the memory timings here. Security, various security related options over here. Power, mainly power saving. And finally boot, which gives you the possibility to configure your boot devices and other boot options. UEFI boot only for this NAC. And finally, when you're done, press the X and save changes.